everybody. Happy 2021. Happy New Year. Um, I'm hoping that we have a better year than 2020. I'm sure that a lot of you have went through a lot of ups and downs and all arounds. So I'm going to start off this new year with a pick a card reading. Okay, this is going to be pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you need to pause this video, use your intuition on which deck that you are going to pick or which pile that you're going to pick, please do. And I think that's about it. Let's get started. It's been a while, I know. I've missed you guys. So we're going to start off with pile one. Okay, we've got the queen of cups, the nine of cups, and the ten of cups. So for those of you that have picked pile one, first off, you uh, are a very intuitive person. I think that you do a lot, um, you know, intuitively thinking. Um you could have a little shifts, I think, that maybe you need to cleanse, take a bath, um, you know, that sort of thing. I think that really clears your guys' mind and helps you all out with that. Following that with the Nine of Cups, okay, this is going to be where you need to enjoy your fruits of your labor. Maybe you've been working really hard. Maybe you've been trying to put some projects together and those are now coming um, to light, okay? You need to work is, uh, work on raising your vibe um, as well with the Nine of Cups to keep that kind of going. But now's the time to kind of enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? It's time for you to be like, yes, you know, finally I've worked so hard and I've made it here. Or maybe you made a breakthrough on something. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the Nine of Cups is coming. This is almost like this. The Nine of Cups is your wish card, if you will. So maybe whatever you've been wishing for or manifesting is now going to be coming to light because you have the Ten of Cups as well. So this is, you've got that happiness coming in, okay? Check it out. You've got that happiness coming in. You need to soak up these new opportunities, the new experiences that are going to be coming through for you guys um, in group one. But again, for this to keep going, you guys need to keep cleansing yourself. You need to keep you know, in balance. So I, you know, with it being a lot of cups here, the queen of cups, nine of cups, 10 of cups, there's a lot of water here. So I feel like, you know, you guys need to probably take a salt bath, you know, and cleanse, you know, cleanse yourself, drink more water. Um, because group one, you guys kind of have it going on right now. I mean, you have a lot of things that are coming into play. I feel like maybe if you did have new ideas or, I don't know, maybe if you lost your job, you found a better job or you're going to, whatever that may be. So for group one, listen, if you guys pick this group, I love this for you. Um, I, I mean, just look at this, right? Here you go. You have a strong, strong person. They know what they want. They're very intelligent, right? The nine of cups. This is going to be you working hard and you're enjoying the fruits of the labors. But then you have the Ten of Cups, you know. This could be even family, okay. Maybe you need to spend more family time or you have been. Maybe you guys have grown, you know, better bonds. Whatever that may be. But your success is here and it's going to continue as long as you guys keep, um, you know, everything in check. As far as, you know, mentally, spiritually, you know, physically, you know, watch on that, okay. So that was for group one. Clearly, I loved that. All right, group two. We have the Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So right off the bat, on these two here, I feel like you're alone, right? You feel like you're alone. Maybe you guys have been going through some stuff. The Ace of Cups is really, it's all about new beginnings. So I feel like on the new beginnings, when you're moving into the Five of Cups, this is all about releasing, letting go. You need to forgive, move on. Maybe there's some things in your guys' life, maybe there's some people in your all's life that are just not vibing with you, right? They're on a different frequency. Maybe they're negative. Maybe you're being a little bit negative. I feel like there is, you know, some conflicts there. I feel like... um. Ooh, the five of pentacles, this is loss. Maybe you guys in group two, maybe you guys are dealing with a lot of loss, a lot of misfortune, 
And even with the Five of Cups, you know, bringing that into play, you know, this is all about you have to release this that you have going on, whether that be misfortune or, you know, loss in the family or, or whatever that may be. You need to overcome this because you have new beginnings that are coming out to you. But in order to get to that and to get to that better place, that better mindset, you have to learn to release that energy, release the negative, release, you know, maybe the hatred that you might have in your heart or a broken heart um, or whatever that may be, right? So for you guys, group two, you know, I would highly recommend it's, if you see here, it looks like it's a lot of grounding, right? So you have the moon in the background here, okay? But then she's sitting on what appears to be maybe like rocks or or whatever, but it's still the ground. So this one, the five of cups, right? She is standing in sand, you know? So it seems like it's a lot of wishy-washiness, right? And you guys need to learn to be grounded. So for group two, where we do have the Ace of Cups and a bath would be great for you guys as well. I feel like you guys really need to get out in nature. Put your bare feet on the ground, okay? And really ground yourself and connect with Earth. So that way there, you guys can let go of that, you know, start the healing process. Start your new beginnings, okay? Don't let people um, or your emotions hold you back from what you guys want. All right, group two? I feel like I was going to say something else about this five of pentacles. I feel like this is more or less like just with this moon back here. I feel like the moon for this is symbolizing. Listen, you have the power to come out of this funk, right? You have the power to move on, come out of this funk. All right. So maybe you guys need to go look at the moon, you know, but for me, the moon is really standing out here. Maybe you guys are feeling alone and that's what it looks like here. But I think that you guys will be okay. You will overcome this. Um, but it all starts with you and your mindset. All right, group two. Group three. We've got the five of wands. Hmm, some conflict and struggle, huh? This is more or less saying like, hey, you need to take a step back and reevaluate. Four of pentacles. Mm, you've got blocked energy here. Sure do. Blocked energy on material things. Maybe you guys are wanting to keep up with the Joneses or material things are making you guys happy for the time being. Or maybe you want something. But it's only temporary you know, the material things. Maybe you're fighting over material things. I don't know. Maybe people are changing in your life and they're wanting to keep up with the Joneses, sort of say, or maybe you are. And there's some conflict there, maybe between you and family or friends. Eight of Wands. Interesting. Eight of Wands is basically transitioning into better things and moving forward, right? So... I think that maybe somebody here is not on the same page, okay? Whether that be with a lover, a friend, a family member, or maybe even you're struggling with yourself. But in order to move forward, like the Eight of Wands is saying, and I think that you are possibly going to be transitioning into this, but right now you're you're blocked. Your energy is completely blocked because you're sit, sitting on like this high horse of... I have this and I have that or I can get this or maybe you're doing well financially and it's still not enough for you and you're fighting with somebody maybe over money or you're going to be. But I think that, you know, it could be with yourself too or maybe you're having financial struggles but I don't feel like it. This is, this is somebody that's saying like you, you know... Or somebody that you know, right? There's something to do with money and a lot of money that somebody like they want more of it or the, you know, the more they get, they don't even know who this person is, if that makes sense. And for whatever reason, it's blocking their energy or your energy. So you guys really need to cleanse yourself. Um, for this though, you know, see how here she's holding her throat, right? So maybe it's like you want to say something, 
but yet you know that it's just going to be like the same old rodeo or maybe you're afraid that you're going to lose a friendship or a relationship, whatever that may be, right? But you can't move forward and transition to better things until this is done. So you need to speak up, change your energy. Um, it's It just seems a little toxic to me. So I'm not really vibing on this level here, but I think... It's going to turn out fun. It's just a matter of what you guys choose to do, right? <sighs> See, with this, and I'm just looking at it, it like almost reminds me of like a broken heart, right? Like if you say something, you're going to break somebody's heart or they're going to break yours, vice versa. Like this is not meshing well together, but this has to happen in order to bring in the eight of wands to transition, to move forward, right? So group three, it's a little tough um, moving in into 2021, but this needs to happen. This transition needs to happen to move forward to better your life, right? So I would really work on that throat chakra um, to be able to say what you need to say. All right, guys. So with that being said, I know that it's been a while. I've missed you guys. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to be trying to get back in the swing of things, of doing more videos. I know that I've been off the grid, but I've been really busy. So comment down below. Let me know what group that you picked. Let me know, you know, what other videos you guys would like me to do. If you still want me to continue doing the pick a card readings. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Bye-bye.